What time is it? Hall time. Yeah. I heard you out there say it. You. You. I heard you. Okay, you guys. Hall time. I have quite a bit of stuff, so I'm going to try to get it over with quickly. I don't want to hold you guys forever. Let's start. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the lips. Okay. The first thing I got is this Bond Bell Lip Lights. I got this, you guys, because I got some new new lipstick, which I guess I'll go into next. Um, but yeah, I got this to go over my new lipstick. I already have two or three lip glosses that are like for nudes. One I have on right now. But um, yeah, I just wanted another one because I got some new new lipstick, which I'm very excited about. And my new lipstick. This is by Wet n Wild. It is in color 547E. It is a really pretty nude color. Let me swatch it. Okay, guys, the next Wet n Wild lipstick I got is this like Barbie pink lipstick. I really, really like it. The color is 505A. It is like a bright fuchsia, like Barbie pink. Like, I can't wait to try it. The next one I got is this. It's kind of a red. I would say more of a maroonish color. Wine, maybe. Um, it is in the color 522A. And I just, I've just been looking for reds, you guys, that suit my skin tone. So there's that. I'm not going to swatch everything just because, it, trust me, it will take forever. Um, this is another, I got this lipstick. This is an Aziza lipstick. It is called Temptation. It's almost the same color as my skin. I wonder if this would be considered like a quote-unquote nude lipstick like for brown. The next, I got another lip color from Aziza. It is called Heartbeat. This is another red. I haven't tried it yet, but um, it is like a true red, you guys. Um, and then I picked up this Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner. The color is Brandy Wine. I got this to go with my nude lips as well as my bright pink lips. I think that'll go well with the both of them. Plus it was on sale at CVS. CVS sale is going on right now, you guys. The 99 cent stuff is 69 cents. The liners anyway. Um, I picked up, this is a Rimmel Special Eyes Eyeliner Pencil. And it is in the color 130 Ivy. It is a green eyeliner pencil. And I've just been really into colorful eyeliner lately. So, yeah, that's so why I got that. And then I got this color, Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Shimmer Eye Pencil in black. And it is black with, like, sparklies. I just opened it right now and I'm realizing sparklies don't come out so great. But I'll see how that works. This was on sale, too. 69 cents. So, if it doesn't work too well, I'm not going to be too disappointed. Um, I got this Wet n Wild. It is a eyeshadow, cream shadow pencil. Of course, it's going to be used as a base. This is a blue one, and it's in the color Distress. And then I also picked up a green one. And this one is in the color Envy. Ooh, I like that. Green with Envy. And then I got this black eyeliner, Aziza. It's just two regular black eyeliner pencils. You can never have enough black eyeliner, I always say. I don't know how everybody else feels about that. Um, I got this Aziza lip gloss in the color 04. It's like a purple mauve color. I think it'll go really good on top of this wine colored lipstick that I got from Wet n Wild. The next thing I got is actually from my husband. Bless his heart. 
my hubby, my pookie. Um, he got me this creamy lip palette. has all these different lip glosses in it. I don't usually use palettes like this, but because it's from him, I am going to find a way to incorporate this. Maybe, probably, most likely over some lipstick. So that's that. I got this little um, eyeshadow brush set. It has five things in there. An eyebrow brush, a uh, eyeliner brush, a powder brush, a synthetic brush, which is really why I wanted it because I need a new synthetic brush to use for my bases. And then this um, sponge applicator, which I never use these. I actually hate them very very much but all i really wanted it for was the synthetic brush so yay got that 99 cents only store you guys so only 99 cents next thing i got was this nail lacquer it's by the company 10 beauty cosmetics and this is in the color ruby i don't know if the camera's picking this up well but it really doesn't look like a ruby color it's more of like a mauve color it's the same color as um my mauve Wet n Wild lipstick, which is why I got that because I thought it would go good together. The next nail lacquer I got is this Sally Hansen Crackle Overcoat. Um, you guys know what? It's definitely not worth ten bucks. It was like nine eighty seven at CVS. Definitely not worth it. Do you guys see? I hope you guys can see how this crackle looks here. I did it over black. You can barely see the crackle if you do it over a black polish. Um, and then I decided to go ahead and do it over a blue polish. And this is what it came out looking like. I hope you guys can see that. It crackled, but it doesn't look like this. And a lot of the crackles that I see come out looking exactly like how the cap looks. And this one just didn't. But, you know, stuff happens. It's all good. Ten bucks isn't too much, but do I think it's worth it? No. Would I buy another one? Absolutely not. So, yeah. Um, I went ahead and picked up some more lashes. The lashes that I have on now are these S47s. I love these ones. And I went ahead and decided to get some more in uh, from this company, Select Lash. So I got these S99s and these S747Ms. These are like wispy ones. So these are the ones I have on. These are kind of in between wispy and dramatic. And then these are the wispy ones. Got those. And then I got myself an eyelash curler. Now, I never used eyelash curlers before. Um, I either I used to just use mascara. Now that I use falsies, I just blend my lash in with my finger like this with the false lashes and it works fine for me. I don't have to use mascara or anything to um, to blend them in. They blend just fine as you guys can see. At least I hope you can see. But they blend in just fine. Um, but I saw Makeup by Naya. Every time I watch her videos, she puts on her falsies that she uses an eyelash curler to like mix them in i think that'll be easier than my method so that's why i got this this is the color theory uh little kit it has 50 eyeshadows six lip glosses which i probably won't use because i have lip gloss i just told you guys my husband got me four lipsticks two eye pencils and two nail polishes and it was only 10 bucks you guys at cbs so let's go through it we get this eyeshadow palette in the pinks we get one in some black grayish colors we and each of these have five eyeshadows so we get one in like a gold we get one in a blue we get one in a purple we get one in some neutral colors here we get one in a green. We get some more neutral colors, which are darker than these neutral colors, but still neutral nonetheless. 
And the one that's kind of mixed up, that you get a blue, a green, a pink, a gold, and a purplish color in. So that's really nice. Um, I thought it was worth the 10 bucks. I will let you guys know what the pigmentation is like and whatnot, but I thought it was worth $10. Um, and then you get two nail polishes. One is in red. I love red nail polish. And the other one is in like this nude color. And I've really been wanting to try a nude nail polish actually. And then you get four lipsticks. Um, this one is in like a fuchsia purpley pink color, which I cannot wait to try. This one is in like a Barbie pink here. Um, this one is like a red. And this one is like a soft nude pink. And then also in this, like I said, you get the lip glosses, a red, a camera dye. Anyway, sorry guys. And then two blushers. So yeah, that is it for my little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. As always on my channel, peace love and I will talk to you ladies and gems next time.